Okay, right here I have three examples of tremolo systems. Um, these are three of my guitars I've just kind of randomly picked up to put to show to you. Um, chances are your guitar falls in one of these categories. We've got the vintage style trem just here. This is my 63 Strat. Um, a lot of modern Strats still have this, this vintage style trem. There's no locking system, very primitive machine heads. Uh, just a, a, a bone nut just there and you can you can do some whammy stuff on these systems if, it, if, it, if this a fender system like this is set up correctly it's pretty stable I'm going to take you through um, maybe the setup of a vintage system but a lot of Yamahas have them um, fret kings a lot of guitar makers stick with this vintage style system um, but that's it hasn't changed since much since 1954 the first strats were on the scene in 19, what, the first one was made in 1953, 54, and this is the system they put on. And it was made very popular in the 60s by Hank Marvin, who was the first, I, I guess, uh, tremolo guy to kind of get some tremolo stuff happening with his playing. But moving on to the 80s, um, this is my favorite guitar, my number one guitar. It's a Valley Arts Custom Pro, which was made for me around about 1989, 1990, it's, it's getting a bit old and battered like its owner nowadays. But it has the Floyd Rose system. Now in the 80s everybody had a Floyd Rose. Um, I had uh, six or seven guitars with Floyd Roses on, but this is now my only guitar with a Floyd Rose. But basically a Floyd Rose is a locking system uh, and some guitar makers still use Floyd Rose. Uh, an Ibanez, they use a floating locking system, just a sort of a, a deviation of a, a actual Floyd Rose system. So this is a, a cool guitar. I mean, they're great. Uh, Floyd Rose, if you can work a Floyd Rose, it works great. You can do anything, dive bombs, pull-ups, and it stays dead in tune because it's all locked down. Nothing can move. The only drawback is that you, <clears throat> you have to kind of, it's a bit of a pain when you're changing strings. Um, but still a good system. Um, but moving on to the, currently, this is my uh, this was made for, in 2006. This is a custom shop uh, Jeff Beck Strat, but it's got all the, the stuff that I mainly use now on, on the fenders. <clears throat> it has a rolling nut, an LSR rolling nut, which rolls on ball bearings so the, the strings slip over it. Uh, it doesn't stick. When you're kind of moving the arm, the strings move over these ball bearings. Works great. It also has, which are, a lot of my fenders have, locking spurs or machine heads. So it locks the string into the post, um, so there's no movement there. It also has what a lot of modern fenders have, just two posts to rock on. You know, the, the actual bar rocks on two blades, just at two points on the system. So the whole thing is very smooth and responsive. And it's kind of taking, I think, the next bar up to what a Floyd Rose was. Um, this is my favorite kind of system. But you can... All these th three systems work great in their own way, and chances are your guitar falls into one of these, these systems.